One of the things I really enjoy about my neighborhood is the influence of Cubans in our city, particularly on the coffee. You may not have heard of Cuban coffee before, but let me tell you, it's delicious. It reminds me a little bit of the Italian coffee, so short, strong, kind of espresso style. And it is served that way, but in a more kind of slightly sweeter roast. Cuban coffee is offered here. You can get them in supermarkets and they are sort of smallish, small pre-ground packets, very dark yet sweetly roasted coffee. And Bustello is one of them and there's a couple of others uh, that are similar to Levazza, you know, if you know that brand. And it's that sort of idea that you have Cuban coffee here, El Cafecito as it's known here. That means a little coffee. And you can get those in many variations one of them just a cafecito is similar to what you'd know as an espresso and that's a short strong kind of a single shot mini coffee that you get and you have it by yourself and then you can have the nice cafe con leche as well cafe con leche is as the name suggests with milk and that is akin to something like a cafe latte i guess but again with that nicely sweetly roasted coffee you can have it with sugar or without with sugar obviously it's sweet without sugar it's just like a normal latte but it has a different strength to it even a large cafe con leche is never more than perhaps eight ounces and smaller ones are about four to six ounces so it really is a much shorter coffee so there's no venti latte or whatnot they, they don't have that really unlike you know starbucks which is just next door to me uh, like right here <laughs> So the Cuban coffee is roasted differently, is served differently. And one of the most amazing aspects about the Cuban coffee is the fact that there is something called a colada. And that's not to be confused with the piña colada, which is of course a cocktail in the Caribbean cocktail made with pineapple and uh, coconut, I believe. And this is not the case with a colada as in the Cuban coffee colada. So colada means it is a much larger black coffee no milk there usually you can get it with milk but usually it's just like you know like a, almost like an espresso shot jar full with a lid and you get it with sugar usually it's with sugar you can request it without sugar but usually they put sugar in it and you get these super tiny cups like a third of an ounce like super tiny cups like five or six or eight or ten of them on top of that turned round so you have the paper cup with the plastic lid uh, out of which you don't drink it's just a lid that completely closes the cup and on top of that are these super tiny demi tasse kind of cups in plastic and the idea is you bring one in for friends and family and for total strangers really and you really what I what I love about this is you share a moment with people you don't even know you know you can do this for colleagues you can do this for friends for people that you anticipate to be there as well like people in a waiting room of a hospital or you know people in a gathering kind of congregation whenever you anticipate you're going to meet people you can bring in a colada and you're going to be the star of the show so what happens is you take the lid off and you spread the coffee out into these mini demi tasse cups and then everyone just gets a tiny sip of really strong sweet coffee and you don't get high from it or anything so it's not like having a full coffee and it's also not like the thing about let's go out for coffee and make a big thing of it and meet and sit down and order and have a half hour chat or anything it's not like that it's not like that it's not like that at all it's more like you sh literally just share a moment hey i brought some coffee and whoa that's awesome and you all have one sip of coffee you say hey thanks and then you move on but what i find amazing about it is this sharing the moment you know you all appreciate life just for that one second that it takes to pour that coffee and um, look into each other's eyes and say hey that was really nice and you know we've we've just shared a moment and there's nothing special about it but it is that it isn't so special that makes it so super special in my opinion because coming from a european kind of culture we don't know this thing at all we you know offer a total stranger in london a cup of coffee and you know next thing is the cops will 
lock you up probably it, it's not so much because london is such a busy city but there is the, the laid backness to it as well but but there's also this kind of trust in your fellow man that you know this guy isn't going to rip you off or steal your wallet or anything this is far from it and uh, all it also doesn't mean you're striking up a massive friendship for the rest of your life it's not about that but it's a bit like the japanese who kind of help each other out not knowing who the other person is you know my friend jerry told me this that uh, there's this, this big story about a guy who was helping another guy change a tire as if they were big friends and if they were knowing if they had known each other for years and oh, of course they hadn't and this is kind of what that reminds me of that you know you just share a moment and it's nothing special about it yet it makes life incredibly nice at the same time and i think that's what i enjoy about it i do enjoy coffee i've always liked coffee you know and my oncologist dr kuznir he's from colombia by the way uh, i'm giving you this information because in one of his recent lectures in march 2018 i've taped that lecture by the way and i really must edit that footage together it's a kind of lack of time type thing here so a nice lecture in our community Miami Beach community center here and I believe it was in front of a bunch of seniors who were basically there because there was free lunch and I was there because my oncologist was having a lecture about colon cancer and about the recent discoveries that colon cancer brought to the table and how to cure and fascinating things that he was talking about and one of them was that coffee is interestingly one of those things much like tree nuts that are likely to prevent cancer not not likely but it's, it's one of those things what they found out about colon cancer in particular is that it works a little bit like a virus so the idea is that not one medication works against every strand of colon cancer also there's not one colon cancer that you cure with one medication there are many 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 variations and uh, mutations that have happened over the years and you know that's why each cancer reacts very differently to a different type of medication oh. Oh, sorry and hence but that's that's what scientists have found out over the last five to ten years so hence this approach of killing the human and hopefully the cancer while we're at it with chemotherapy really isn't such a good idea i just spoke to my colleague chris he had melanoma i believe i've forgotten now but we kind of shared these experiences about he's just been through chemotherapy and it was just you know one of those things uh, and he was thinking well am i cured now and the doctors go we don't know but the thing is he's received his first line treatment so the funny thing the interesting thing about this is that sometimes doctors have to give you this so-called first-line treatment just to see if it works or not because the majority of people have had good results with it and if they haven't well then second-line treatments and third-line treatments become available so it's not so much that the doctors don't want to give you the good stuff right away they are obliged to give you something that is the first-line treatment for that particular illness and only then will other treatment options become available to them so if they think this isn't going to work they're going to have to give it to you anyway it's kind of a crazy crazy thing but hey it's one of those things my point to the story of course was that dr kuznir being colombian says drinking coffee has a good effect of, on you not developing cancer which is which is interesting i must read up on that or maybe i can interview him about this it's a good idea i think i need to sit down and interview him on this particular thing he also says tree nuts for example are a good inhibitor of cancer much like you know turmeric that's another good one uh, but um, tree nuts like walnuts and pecans and, and stuff like that they're very different to peanuts so peanuts are apparently not nuts at all or peanut butter you know it's not not actually they are not nuts they are legume i believe that's what it's called which is the same family as lentils and peas and all that so it's, it's very interesting they're not actually nuts at all even though we call them nuts and uh, they're not actually nuts is that crazy or what so uh, you know the peanut has a lot to answer for as it is 
So yes, but that's what uh, I wanted to share with you because I did share one of those moments earlier and over the last few days and weeks really and months. I mean, when I go to my local bike shop and I haven't seen the guys in a while, I bring in a colada, you know, or total stranger in the hospital waiting room comes up to me. He doesn't speak English. I don't speak Spanish. And all he goes is and shows me this cup of a colada and it's just awesome you you've never met before and you just share this moment you know my colleague Carmen at work she's a decision in store shopper just like me and uh, she just said hey Jay there's some coffee there and this is just such a cool way of starting the day it's nice but you don't bring a coffee in and you're obliged to repay anyone it's just a colada costs actually less than the full-blown cafe, uh, cafe con leche so cafe con leche is about two dollars which is hardly anything, consider that comma Starbucks comma because at Starbucks I believe a cafe latte is close to five dollars and that's the small size you know so it makes it really isn't isn't funny whereas a colada is just about a dollar I believe dollar 29 and it's technically you can, you can share between 10 people and not only are you sharing a bit of coffee like this, you know, a little bit of a coffee shot, you're sharing the love, you know, the celebration for life. And I think that is something that's just beautiful. And I don't want to forget that.